hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i did my passion twist and this is the darling passion twist so i've been seeing this all over instagram on the darling instagram so i wanted to try them out for myself but i always thought like my hair was way too short so i waited a little bit for it to grow but then it was growing so slow so i came up with an idea of braiding it first and then doing the hair on top which actually worked perfectly so if you want to see how i did my passion twist on my short hair which is about an inch long then keep on watching so i've been doing these little braids all over my head from the bottom like all over my head i don't want my head to poke out of the twist and i also want them to last longer so this is like a trick that i use when i want to do something thick and my hair is short so this will just hold my hair in place and then i can twist on top so this will act as like my natural hair and i made them like really really tight because i want to do the three strand method i don't want to do the crochet method so as you can see they're like super tight so i won't be able to like fit the crochet under them so i'm left with like one row here so i can show you guys like how i've been doing them so i'm just gonna go ahead and braid this part here and i didn't add any products prior to doing this i only washed and conditioned my hair but i'm using my gel wax and this one is by perfect touch i'm using it to define my part so that my part can be like more visible and also to like grab everything so i'm going to pull out a little bit of my edges here i don't like to braid my edges they break like easily and then put some more right there on the line and also this side and now i'm gonna start braiding so i'm not really using like a comb to part i only use a comb to like make like the big lines so i'm just grabbing like enough hair and then make sure that it's cleanish and the braiding hair that i'm using is the darling one million in number one so i'm just gonna go ahead and braid this like as i would normally braid my hair so i'm braiding it a little bit past my natural hair which stops here and just leave it like that and then move to the next one So I am done with all my base braids 
and this is how they look i got them in color number 127 so i got two of them so this is the so this is the patient twist that i'm going to be using and i got mine from cosmetic connection it's a store that is based in bloomfontein so it was 129 for one packet so i'm gonna go ahead and start at the back and then i'll come back and show you guys the front so i am back with my hair almost done i'm just left with a little bit here that i'm going to show you guys how i did them so this is how they look so far they are really really long so the way i use them i first stretch them out like this so that it can be easy to separate and i only separated about like 25 percent of the hair like so and i just put the little piece on the side until i have enough so i go ahead and stretch it out so it can be a little bit distressed and then go on and braid on top of the little braids that i already made so i just go ahead and grab one piece start doing like a three strand braid first and i'm making sure that the patient twist is actually covering the little braid and then after i'm done with like a three strand i go ahead and start twisting making sure that i'm covering this hair and this is the reason why i used number one because this hair is one and 27 so the number one will blend in well with the um passion twist so i just go ahead and continue twisting and when i get to the end i make sure that i conceal the little end piece of the braid and i just continue twisting it all the way down so this is how it looks and then i just continue doing the same on the rest of the hair so again i pick up one piece stretch it out like so and then take out about 25 percent of the hair and then make sure that everything is leveled like down here like you are right in the middle and then pick up one piece of the braiding hair and then do like a three strand braid first like three or four times i'm not really counting sometimes i do four sometimes i do three and then after that go ahead and start twisting so I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I'm not really following the curl pattern of the hair because this hair is like really, really loose. So if I was following the original curl pattern of the hair, it would be more curled, but it would be loose. Like it would be easy to pop out. Even though I didn't follow the original curl pattern, it actually starts curling itself when time goes on. Like I did this last night but the, i can see they're starting to curl back to their normal curl pattern so i would say maybe like in two three days everything will be like held back to the original curl pattern so i just continue twisting until i get to the end
So I am done and that was the final braid. I really really love them. I love the color. It's like perfect for spring and summer. As you can see they're actually starting to go back to like their normal curl pattern. So out of two packs I'm left with like about four strands and each pack came with four. I got two packs so that made it 80 but I would say two packs is actually enough for anyone and as you can see my portions are smaller because of my short hair but if you do have long hair you can actually make like bigger portions which you would end up using less hair of course so i would say two packs is enough for everyone unless if you just want like a big volume or you want to use maybe like two strands for one portion or three strands for one portion whatever you're looking for i'm just giving you sort of like an idea of how much comes in a pack so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye